Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my Sunday Let's Play of Pokemon Stadium 2. And I do owe you guys Pokemon Stadium 1 Round 2, but I'm working on that primarily via emulator. And yeah, Round 1 of Pokemon Stadium is a pain in the behind. But Stadium 2 actually improves where Stadium 1 actually have some faults. More importantly, yeah, I got five games to work from, to transfer from, as opposed to just three. You got yellow, blue, red, gold, and silver to work from. And on top of the fact you can carry Pokemon, and not to mention items, over to your games. So you can practically use uh, red and blue for your um, rare candy trick, and just give all the rare candies to the other games. So I'm starting off Gym Leader Castle, because there's actually two Gym Leader Castles. The Kanto Gym Leader Castle, Johto Gym Leader Castle, which will also be, oh actually it was Johto, then Kanto, then the Elite Four, and then the Rival. Well, let me correct that. It's Johto, let me correct that, it's Johto, plus the Elite Four, and the, uh, champion, then Kanto, and then afterwards you gotta take on the rival, and that's it. So that's how that works, now that I remember. And I'm just picking a group of Pokemon that's going to be doing their damnedest to screw over the entirety of Gym Leader Castle. If need be, I'm going to be pulling out all the stops, but more importantly, I'm going to get the one key person that's going to be trumping a lot of the Pokemon here. Let me see if I can get him, because again, there's no abilities in this game. That would be Pokemon Coliseum, if I'm not mistaken. Yes! That would... not Pokemon Coliseum. I'm trying to think of the name of that uh, Pokemon game for the Wii where you had all of the uh, Pokemon from uh, Gen 1 to Gen 3. Unfortunately, um, that one... Oh, that Miltake doesn't have a... It doesn't have rollout? Wow. Worst Miltake ever. But, uh, let's see. Yep, we're gonna go ahead and get Nidoking. We're getting God Nitto King right here, right now, because that man is a beast between Gen 1 and Gen 3. Only for the fall off of come Gen 4. Just to warn you guys, eventually somewhere along the line, I'm going to end up doing Gen 4. And I'm going to do Platinum. So yeah, <laughs> that's going to be a fun ride. At least it's not Gen 3. So, with that said, I'm going to pick two Pokemon that I'm going to use, but primarily, Nidoking is going to be in my party just for this. Just for this. We can only have three Pokemon. And, like with Pokemon Stadium 1, only two Pokemon can be asleep, two Pokemon can be frozen. Uh, the last Pokemon that self-destructs, regardless of what side it is, the person's Pokemon who last stand... Okay, the person who didn't self-destruct wins the match. And I think there's one more thing I should mention. Um, any Pokemon that die from Perish Song, even if they actually knocked out the opponent, the opponent that knocks out loses the match before Perish Song even takes place. Thunder. So that's something that needs to be mentioned. And I'm doing that now because it's God Nitto King is doing what he it. does best. Wreck shit. You just can't we'll stop Nitto King without God. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> just, just the fact that Nitto King is just going to be sweeping people Pokemon and probably carrying the team for most of Gym Leader Castle. I may have to change up after Whoa! Bugsy, but yeah, we're going to be practically carrying the team. Oh no, Flash, whatever shall I... Oh, it failed! Oh my god! Ooh, hoo, hoo. this man picked the wrong guy to run up against. Man, I should have just tried Horn Drill just to see if it had actually worked. And it probably would have. <laughs> it probably would have. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. 
But jeez, please! Oh, I, I, I mean, there's gonna be some people in Gen 5 realizing Nido King sucks. Why is he so freaking powerful, dude? That's because even though they separated the stats in Gen 2, Nido King was still a menace. They had to emphasize that the stats actually exist by Gen 4 in order for Nido King to, you know, stop being a menace. But even then. Nido King is back to being a menace thanks to the existence of Fairy! <laughs> yeah, um. You can thank Gen 6 for Nido King being a menace again! And speaking of which, thank Nido King for completely turning Matt into the Lesser Hardy. Hi yo! Anyway. <laughs> anyway. You think a guy named Matt was not gonna be referenced? Yeah. I just broken Matt, and now it's time for us to break Faulkner. Although I may make a stupid mistake, I'm still gonna break Faulkner because, again, Nitto King is gonna trounce his entire team. Bar none, plain and simple. And what was I thinking when I wanted to use my cargo first? I saw that Deli Bird. That's what I was thinking. Because Deli Bird, I think, was an ice Pokemon, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it is. Icy Flying. And Deli Bird, despite being Icy Flying, the only thing it has is present. And I don't have time for that bullshit, no. Some may think Deli Bird is a minute. No. 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 I'm telling you now. Deli Bird is by far the worst Pokemon in the game. And that. Here's one of them, anyway. That easily. And unfortunately, now I'm paying for and having Macargo that. in my team. See, if I would have used Nido King, that Pidgeotto or Pidgeot would not have managed to hit me with a mud slap. He would have already fell. It would have already been over, and God, the Nido King would have struck down the next bird Pokemon with the wrath of his lightning. But no, I chose Macargo because I thought he was gonna pull out Deli Bird. Uh, the target is weakened further. Well, at least Macargo's pretty good with Fire Blast. Hit that one good. Slow as it is, at least it's powerful with Fire Blast. I really should have just kept with Fire Blast, but. This is gonna come back to bite me later because Smog is gonna miss because I got hit three times with the mud slap. The target stats must be in pattern. Damn it. What now? Honestly, I should have just got Jinx. I really should have. Why didn't I get Jinx? I don't know. Jinx would have really, really screwed over him. If not, who's Nido King? But I was again. Waiting for the damn Here Deli Bird. And as soon as I'd have pulled out Jinx, that fucker would have had Deli Bird. Oh, it's Electro! But here we go. We got the mud slap going. Honestly, we should have used Swift or Sonic that Boom. Easily. The Stat Changer succeeds! Yeah, even though uh I will this Pokemon switch a bit. Even though he did put there him. Drop my accuracy. I should have. Oh, you son of a bitch! How's that? Of course you hit me with quick attack. That's all right. Here it comes. The end of Pidgeot is near. There it is. And that takes care of Pidgeot. And now we've got one more Pokemon. By the way, something that wasn't in the original. The person you're facing would actually have a quote and the actually show concern Pokemon for the Pokemon that's getting one-sidedly trounced. The no, it missed! Oh, that missed. oh, as expected. No, double edge! God damn it! Well, if you don't succeed, try, try. I should use Sonic Boom, but no. But try, try again. Sonic Boom would have actually done more damage. But that works too! That works too! Ah, oh, drop me down to 10. Damn it! No! No! I forgot Topedic Alert Psychic! 
Oh man! Oh well, so much for my perfect run of not having Pokemon faded. Well, there's only one thing to do at a time like this. I know this is a risk, but it's time to send out the Nidoki. King. You shall bow before your God! And he shall preach the sermon of electricity! Oh, but before I do, Horn Attack, because you only got 10 left. Booyah! There you go, done, dead. And now, we have one more Pokemon left. Which is it gonna be? I knew it. I fucking knew it. I knew he was gonna have the damn Jellybird! I knew it! The number of remaining Pokemon funny thing is, is if I'd have brought out Macargo, he probably oh, would have healed him. <laughs> but that's okay, oh. Deli Bird has been annihilated by God Nido King. Ah, oh, yes. It's good to be back in Pokemon. Although it's going to be a lot tougher going from Bugsy from here on in. Chances are I'm going to have to change on the team for Bugsy. So. On that note, Faulkner has been defeated and so too has the Violet City Gym. So that just brings us over to the Azalea Gym with Bugsy. And I'm going to have to change out a lot of things because there are some multi-type bugs, especially Scizor. That may just screw up the whole rotation. So with that said, I will see you all in the next episode of Pokemon Stadium 2 as we go for the Azalea Gym. This is Arvman985, peace out, and take care.